to Bafana Bafana have a date with three-time AFCON champions Nigeria at 7 p.m. in Boake. Now, both these teams have not played their best football, but a place in the semi-finals of the AFCON is nothing to underplay, especially if you look at the quality of teams which have already been eliminated out of the competition. To talk about this fixture, we've roped in two people who have won many hats in the game of football. Joining us via Zoom, we have coach Simpiwe Lulu, and in studio, we have coach Farouk Khan. It's the morning of the coaches. Good morning, coach Lulu. Good morning, coach Khan. How are Good you morning. doing? Good morning. Very well, thanks. Thanks for having us. Absolute pleasure. <laughs> Coach Lily, let me start with you because you look at this Nigerian team and the South African team and one could say that at the stage of this competition, they seem to have more or less the same type of form. And many saying that they star players or, or the players that many would have expected to make such an impact. You look at Nigeria, Victor Osman, you look at South Africa, Percy Dawo, haven't really shown up to this tournament as expected. What are your thoughts on that and how do you see them having an impact in tonight's game? I think this tournament has by far shown us that uh, national teams is about uh, the whole team, not just individuals. You know, I think uh, Osimen, his presence, yes, it's well and good, but uh, the other players needed to step up. You look at your Lukaman, Simon, uh, even Iwobi, you know, uh, the captain at the back. So I think um, it, it simply shows us that. And it has allowed us to see uh, even more players, different players that are not always on the headlines of stories and all of that. It's just like in South African team, you know, um, we are talking about the centre-back pairing. We are talking about the goalkeeper. We are talking about Zwane. We are talking about the young Maseko, um, you know, though he's injured. But um, it doesn't solely, uh, you know, depend on the shoulders of one athlete, one player. So I'm, I'm happy that you are seeing that. Otherwise, it's a lot. I mean, seven games to be depending on one player who's a key player or a top player for your country. That can be a lot, though I think their impact is, is, is important in the team because having superstars in your team gives you a little bit more edge. Indeed. And, and Farouk, when we look at what these two teams have done, both defensively and on attack, I mean, you look on attack, they've both scored six goals so far in the tournament. In terms of what they've conceded, both being stingy, South Africa conceding two so far and Nigeria one. Where do you think the game tonight will be won and lost? Well, firstly, tournament football is different to league football. It's on the day. Your form is very important. Also, you must understand it's the mentality that wins you these, to these type of tournaments. So we've seen in the past, and we can go back as far as World Cup tournaments where Brazil went into the final with Italy as underdogs and, and won on penalties. So yes, it's, it's a mental game. And I think we've proven beyond a doubt that we can overcome adversity, criticism. I mean, losing the first game to Mali, everybody wrote off South Africa, but they bounced back against uh, Namibia and went on to beat tournament favorites Morocco convincingly. Yes, we can argue that they haven't been that convincing against Cabo Verde, but that is expected when you play against a team that also comes into the tournament as underdogs. I was more worried about Cabo Verde than playing against Morocco or even now playing against Nigeria because coming in as an underdog gives you that bit of comfort to say, mm. you, you know, you've got nothing There's to no lose. Pressure There's no real pressure. Absolutely. And that is great because in this game, the mentality is everything. And as we speak about mentality being everything, um, in terms of just the physical aspect of it, coach, you look at the fact that when South Africa came up against Cabo Verde, they had one day, list a day to, to prepare themselves. And it's the same coming to the semi-final clash because Nigeria had an extra day. Do you see that having an impact on how the players will be able to come out? I think uh, the only impact uh, would be how much uh, each player wants it, you know and game management um, holistically. Because if you're looking at um, the recovery, you know, the load and recovery is going to be key. And I think the team has done well in making sure that uh, we had less injuries. The only uh, big injury we had was that of Maseko, which was a muscle injury, you know, so no real, um, you know, stressful injuries when it comes to that. So I think it's going to be key um, for the medical team to take it a step higher to say now we are on game six because uh, game six is, is, is it, it took its toll on yeah. us. You know, we started on the 16th and um, the squad rotation also hasn't been really um, that massive because we, we really don't change so much uh, when it comes to our players, especially the starting lineup. It has been the same lineups uh, from day one. So the minutes of, of 
recovery, the following day at training, how Mahupa recovers, how Zwane recovers, how Pepelo and uh, Mugwena recovers is what's going to be key for us. And it has to show now um, today against Nigeria because, yes, they've had a day extra. Um, you know, that can be a positive because it means a more rested body is a body that can go and execute, but also a body that uh, has been playing consistently under pressure knows how to adapt, you know. So uh, it will be key for us to see how do we manage the game in moments, especially with the intensity. You know, Nigeria hasn't really played with too much intensity, but today that might change. And that's what we must be prepared for because they want to win and it's against us. So it's a grudge match always uh, between the two countries. And you spoke earlier with Coach about uh, Nigeria being defensive, South Africa being defensive as well. I think both teams are able to play uh, open football, you just need to be smart about it. And coach also spoke about tournament football. Tournament football, it's not about how you win, but how you get those results is what's key. And and as I wrap up with you, Farouk, perhaps we go a little bit deeper on that because it's not about playing the most fancy of football at this stage. We just need to get the job done. How do we get it done against Nigeria? Because also when one looks at the style that they've been playing in, it's more of a sit-back and almost counter. Is that how you're expecting them to come out tonight? Look, the mere fact that we've reached this stage 24 years ago is a huge, huge uh, motivation in itself, winning it 28 years ago. And that itself means that these players are going to go into this game and give it their all. I don't think uh, the, the, the fact that, you know, I think they have systems in place to deal with fatigue, regeneration, etc. I think the mental fatigue is what we've overcome. The fact that we're now playing against a team that we've played 14 times mm. and beaten us seven times, thrown five times. We've only beaten them twice. The last time we beat them with two players, mm. one of them being Percy Tau and the other one being Tokelo Ranti in 2016. So they are beatable. Mm. And I think tonight, if we can manage the process, and that is ensure the first prize being we score in regulation time. And if we don't, we still have Ronald Williams be between the sticks. So I'm very optimistic. We are all very optimistic. Massive thank you to Coach Simpu at Lulu as well as Coach Farouk Khan joining us this morning to look ahead to that semi-final clash between South Africa as well as Nigeria.